r slash ask reddit, what's something small you started doing that makes you drastically happier? Okay, these are backslash really backslash small, but 1. Wearing gloves while washing dishes 2. Wearing earplugs or noise cancelling earbuds plus audiobook slash podcast while vacuuming or drying my hair 3. Watching a favorite TV show while folding laundry Basically I try to minimize the sensory discomfort and boredom of regular chores, and now I almost look forward to them. Wearing gloves while washing dishes is actually huge. I almost can't touch dirty dishes without them lol. Undressing the moment I get home from work, swapping that piece of shit uniform to comfy soft clothes legit makes me chill out and smile just to think about it. I've never understood wearing outside clothes at home. I always change immediately when I get in the door, I just feel so wrong and uncomfortable otherwise. Bedtime routine. I worked on it and now it's solid and I can fall asleep in less than 20 minutes. For an insomniac worry ward, it's been life changing getting solid sleep and made me so less cunty. Care to share any tips or tricks? I'm struggling with this right now and really want to start going to bed at a decent hour. Baking with my daughter a couple times per week. Pies, cookies, different kinds of breads, etc. We have so much fun doing it together and then we get to enjoy eating what we make too. Surprisingly wholesome from Dick Nipples. Hell yeah Dick Nipples. I read this as barking with my daughter. Slowing down at work. I don't need to respond to every email right away, or make sure everything is up to date constantly. Some things can just wait. Stop commenting on political articles online. Too many pointless arguments really ruin the day. I wouldn't say that it has made me drastically happier, but feeding my birds and watching them brings a peaceful joy each day. Deleted social media. Stop thinking about the past. Those two things have been huge in increasing my well-being. What helped you stop reflecting on the past? Oh if people only knew the joy having no social media brings lol. I've been 5 years without it and it'll never. Go back. Not drinking during the week. Makes Friday's buzz feel earned and like I deserve it. This sounds like a great idea. I just get so bored on weeknights. Beer and video games is my downtime life. Getting half an hour of exercise every day. How do you motivate yourself to do it every day? Agree on this one. Bingo. This. Good call. Plus, I am privileged to work from home and so I always feel like I gotta jump on an instant message right away so people know that I'm actively working and can acknowledge them. But slowing down and taking time is the way to go. Wipe my counters and put away the dishes every night no matter how tired I am. The energy boost from getting up to see a neat kitchen is not to be underestimated. Yep, doing this definitely helped during my workday slash feeling less stressed. I work from home, it's so nice to throw dishes straight in the dishwasher rather than end my workday with a sink full of dishes. I found a friend who is interested in the same things I am who is intelligent and open-minded at my age this is quite an accomplishment. We go to lunch once a week usually spend about two to two and a half hours just talking about the things we love sharing ideas no politics no gossip. I am immensely better a different person you could say. God, I need this. Priceless gift you have right there. Cherish these moments, sir. Choosing to focus on positive aspects of my marriage. Learning to communicate without getting angry or overwhelmed. Cutting out toxic family from my life. Hanging out with my dad once a month to reconnect and strengthen our bond. Forgiving myself for abusing my body with food so I can become healthier. Learning that I can improve my life daily with small habits. Reading books before going to sleep instead of watching TV. I'm reading The Count of Monte Cristo. If the dense reading doesn't send me to sleep, then actually dropping it on my face will definitely knock me out. I trying it too. Realizing the difference between when I actually screwed up and when someone is taking their frustrations out on me, and then asking what's actually wrong BC this isn't a proportional response to the issue. Going to bed early. Even if it's just 30 minutes, it can make a huge difference. Deactivate Facebook. Stretching every day has helped a great deal. Doesn't always have to be a lot. 10 minutes of yoga stretches each morning is life changing. Started incorporating daily walks into my routine. It might sound small, but the fresh air and movement have done wonders for my mood. Highly recommend listening to your favorite podcast or playlist too. Daily fruit smoothie. I was eating zero fresh fruit before. Stopped falling asleep at my desk midday. Eating fresh fruit daily helped changed so much for me. Also increasing water and decreasing sugary drinks. I started adding spinach to mine. Way more energy than coffee. 
It's like a magical potion. I'm making mine with a protion and greens powder, ground chia, and flax seeds, kefir, fruit of the day and cold pressed safflower oil. Under 500 calories and lasts over 4 hours without any hunger or tiredness. Giving myself the grace I give others was like a 2 ton boulder off my back. Everything's not my fault. And if it is, it's not the end of the world. Life changing. Few things. 1. Took up running. 2. Not everything at work is an emergency. Slow down and respond to that email or call when you have time. 3. No alcohol during the week. Here lately I'm down to only Saturday, and even then it's no more than 3 drinks. 4. Working on less screen time. Started reading more last year and took up fishing. I have a kid, I don't want his memory of me being my face looking at a phone instead of him. Giving up alcohol. Reading fiction. Absolutely. Reading a good novel makes your brain feel way better than doom scrolling. Started reading escapist fiction in 2016 and it's about 80% of what I read. Prioritizing good sleep. Using a week's vacation to take every Friday off for a month in the summer. Rescuing a kitten. Using the Kindle I inherited from my mom. I had basically stopped reading but my previous love for it has been reignited. It has also reduced my other screen time significantly, which can only be good. And GT, reignited. You mean rekindled, winky face. Thank you for this comment. I needed it. Saved. Cut out toxic people. Before my feet hit the floor in the morning, I forgive everyone I need to in order to move on in my life and not carry around stuff from relationships. It really starts to work after a while. I developed the motto of sometimes you just need a cookie. When I'm stressed, pissed or super busy, I take the time to sit down and eat a cookie. I savor it as best I can and use that little bit of downtime to relax and de-stress even for a minute. I focus on the cookie, not the problem, s. In my opinion you can't really be in a bad mood when you're eating a cookie. Lifting weights. It was hard at the beginning but now I see the benefits of it. Realizing this life is nothing more than a zero-sum game. Problem is, we're constantly told about the sum and not the zero. Helps me to accept fate, to not have emotion, to bear the tragic nature of life without romantic masking. To make life something it isn't. Paying close attention to not get defensive in conversations with my wife. Telling myself I love you, baby girl and amp, you are so beautiful, I'm so much happier, especially when I look at myself in the mirror my heart is filled. This is very true. The day I stopped searching for imperfections in the mirror but chose to appreciate what I saw, I became way happier with my body. Paired with positive self-talk I'm just kinder to myself. Aw oh, this is cute. Reading and audiobooks and quitting alcohol. Wow, that's like a superpower to me. Stopping caring what others think of me. How? For someone who doesn't give a lot of fucks a lot of the time I for some reason give a lot of fucks all at the same time lol any tips on how you stop caring? The rational side of me knows why I shouldn't care but for some reason it just can't break it. What other people think of me is none of my business. Going for walks. Drastically happier is probably an overstatement, but it has helped. There's a lot of criticism about the go for a walk advice, but it literally fucking works. Doesn't work miracles, sure, but when you have bad mental health it's invaluable for helping clear your head. Hello everyone. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to humbly ask you to subscribe to the channel. According to my statistics, 100% of my viewers in the past 28 days are not subscribed. I have always wanted this channel to reach 1000 subscribers, and if you want to support and be a part of that, subscribe. It's free and it's an awesome way to support the channel. Thanks again, Reddit glitch out.